afternoon, Asian Energy Carbon Clean, we're still in Kimberley, we've got a Peugeot 1.6 diesel, it's a 308, it is a 2010 model, 88,000 on the clock. Now this one was booked in, uh, potential issues with injectors, had uh, recovery out recently to look at an engine light and that was due to the learning limit on the injectors, those codes are still there, so uh, they could be getting pretty worn. Um, we are giving it a clean up just to see if that helps trim them in. Uh, they are certainly lovely smooth and quiet now, certainly christened up that engine note, it's not fueling as much as it was, so hopefully that will help. Uh, big issue with this one though is coolant. Uh, it was low on coolant when we got to it, we've uh, topped that up before we started. Uh, that stayed uh, pretty much as it was to about 30 minutes in, and that coolant's just uh, just dropped massively in the, uh, in the coolant pot. Uh, pot. So, um, basically there's a coolant leak on this. I need to get this to a garage and identify where it is. Now we're nearly at the end, it's at the clean, so we're going to continue and creep it through to the end, keep an eye on the coolant that's left in it. But it looks like there's a, a pipe possibly with a small split or a hole in it somewhere. It gets up to pressure and then uh, gets warm enough, up to pressure, and it's uh, spurting coolant out. So, got a coolant to look at. The only other thing with this is an airbag. Uh, driver side, right hand pillar. Uh, looks like there's a wiring problem with it. Clear the code, it's immediately back on. Uh, so there's that to sort out, there's the coolant leak to sort out, and looks like a couple of the injectors are pretty much at the uh, end of their tolerance. So otherwise, it's uh, it's running pretty smooth and quiet now. Uh, lovely compared to what it was when we got to it. Got about another five minutes to go and then get this back out on the road with some more coolant in and uh, get the other bits and pieces looked at as soon as possible.